Hey guys and welcome back to another train simulator video and today I thought we would play on the brand new London to Aylesbury route extension. Now this is an extension for the obviously Chilton mainline and I thought what we would do is uh, drive the Metropolitan Line train between Finchley Road which we're at currently to um, Amersham which is that part of Metropolitan Line is runs alongside the London to our uh, Aylesbury route, so yeah, thought that would be a good thing to start off with. Not, don't ask me why there's a cross country train there. I am on a uh, free place, so uh, free room, I think it is called. So yeah, the AI is all random and all that. So believe me, a uh, cross country train does not stop at Finchley Road Station. So we have this platform which is for the Metropolitan Line trains that go towards uh, Amersham. We've got this piece of track that goes towards uh, Algate. And these middle two platforms are the Jubilee Line trains. But I'm guessing it's using the cross country trains instead because obviously the Jubilee Line train uh, stop train isn't available in the game. Obviously this is not the actual a uh, S8, S8 uh, stop train that Just Trains are making. That, that's still gonna take a couple of months for them to make and I will be buying it once it comes out and making videos for you guys but you can drive the AI version which is this which looks still pretty good unfortunately the when you go to the driver's cab it's like this it's not there's actually no driver's cab obviously because this is an AI train it's just for looks it looks quite funny when you drive like this but you can obviously just drive the external view like this so yeah and you can't open the doors or anything Obviously, because this is not a proper model of the S8 stock train, but yeah, well, let's, let's get going. There is a horn though, which is very nice. It's quite quiet as well. I think in real life they are quiet. Don't really go on the S8 stock train much. I go on the big blue line quite a lot, but not on the S8 stock trains. We can walk through these trains, if you didn't know. And they are also available on the District Line, Hammersmith and City Line and Circle Line. But they're called S7 because the seven carriages instead of eight. So this is our West Hampstead station, but obviously we're not stopping there because only the Jubilee Line train stopped there. I'm not too sure why they're floating. I have turned down up the graphics to the maximum and I did inst you do need to install the Chilton mainline if you do own it before installing this route because just to make it work properly so yeah and obviously these two tracks are the Chilton mainline and obviously once we get to Neeson then obviously it turns off towards Wembley Park which is goes towards uh, Birmingham Snow Hill and then we're going to be going via Amersham towards Aylesbury obviously not to Aylesbury but you know I will do some uh, scenarios with the uh, class 165 and 166 uh, GWR trains which come with this uh, DLC from Dust Train so yeah stay tuned for that. This is Don this is Kilburn station, it must be. Yeah this is Kilburn. I used to live in Kilburn so I should know this. Yeah it is quite laggy, I'm not too sure. I no, I turned on the graphics a bit too much. That's okay. Next station is Wills and Green. So it does show the station on the actual um, HUD, which is good. So today we'll just drive all the way to uh, Amersham and then maybe when we do the return journey, then we can maybe stop at East Stop to make it a bit different. S8 stop train. Very nice. It does kind of sound like a S8 stop train, but obviously it's not perfect. When they do actually release the full model of this, though, it will be pretty cool. With passenger views and everything. So, yeah, um, the Metropolitan Line and Jubilee Line trains are. Run alongside the Chilton mainline, which is very cool. It's very cool when you see all three trains like going one 
wanted one uh one going to this direction and one going to the other direction. It's pretty cool. It's very hard to see all three trains at the same time though. You have to be very, very lucky. <laughs> Obviously the Metropolitan Line and Jubilee Line trains run often but the Chilton Moon Line don't run very often so yeah. yeah it's lagging quite a lot, so do apologize. Is uh, knees then? Was it domicile? No, that's domicile. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's domicile. And then this, this is knees then. Then we have Wembley Park. Which are we going? Are we going through there? Yes, we are. Obviously, to the, towards the left is not Wembley Park. Wembley Stadium. It's a bit confusing. Knees then. Then obviously got tracks towards the left hand side that goes towards uh, Romney Stadium and towards uh, Birmingham Snow Hill. I recently did a fast service from uh, Marleybone to uh, what you call it, Birmingham Snow Hill, so go check it out if you haven't done it. Okay, got a 50 mile an hour speed limit before Romney Park. Good. We could stop at Wembley Park to be fair, but you know what? We'll stop at Wembley Park just to check it out. This route actually came out last Wednesday, but yeah, the Chilton Mainline train, very nice. Unfortunately, um, I was on holiday to America, so I couldn't really play it over there. Yes, yeah, lagging quite a lot. Smoother and the signaling is uh, London Underground signaling on these lines as well. So, obviously, when the S8 stock train comes, it'll be very nice. But yeah, we'll stop at Wembley Park because I guess it's one of the busiest, busiest station because you can change for the uh, what do you call it. Jubilee Line train here. Yeah. Between a Finchley Road and Wembley Park, you can take a fast Metropolitan Line train that don't doesn't stop at any of the stops in between. Or if you do want to go the slower, you can take the Jubilee Line train. This is Wembley Park. Change it for the Jubilee Line. And the brakes are not great on this train. You know, we're gonna overshoot it, but that's okay. The brakes are not perfect. It's just an AI train, so not too bothered about that. But yeah, this is Wembley Park. Let's check it out. Obviously, the middle two platforms are for the, the Jubilee Line trains. Actually, you got one. Hmm. Oh, there is more than uh. I think there's like. Two tracks. I think both of these are for Metropolitan Line and both of these are for Metropolitan Line and middle two are just for Jubilee Line trains. I'm pretty sure. One bleak puck. I just got the being careful won't hurt you thing. Delays cut by 40%, that's an absolute lie. There are all the delays on the on underground, believe me. Anyways, let's get going. Um, next stop is um. Hmm. I think it should be Harrow. Actually, we're driving on the Metropolitan Line, so um, should be uh Preston Park or Norfolk Park Station, then Harrow Hill, which is the second closest station to where I live. So yeah. That's gonna be a pretty cool station to uh, go. I guess we can stop at Heron Hill and check that station out as well because that one I know well a lot more. I think the Jubilee Line trains go underneath. Well, we go above. 
So I believe between Norfolk Park and Preston Park are there's tracks underneath where the big new line trains go. So hopefully I can show you that. If you can remember where it is. To be fair we could speed but we'll keep within the speed limit. Preston Road's gonna have Preston Park, my bad. Now we are on the f there are like fast lines and slow lines on the Metropolitan Line, so the slow lines would stop at Norfolk Park and uh, Preston Road, but we're on the fast line which doesn't stop at uh, those two stations, it goes all the way to Harrow Hill. Now the Oxbridge, Oxbridge uh, branch isn't available, only between uh, what you call it? Finchley Road and Amersham. I believe Watford is included as well because I did see that in the free, uh, quick drive uh, menu. I'm trying to find. Oh, yeah, it's quite laggy. See here? No, this is Harrow Hill. We must have missed it. Oh well. Harrow Hill is a very busy station, the Chilton Mainline does stop there. The first stop on the London to Aylesbury route is Harrow Hill after obviously departing London Marleybone, so very busy station. Big shopping centre there as well. And obviously the branch line towards Oxbridge goes there as well. And there's, there's a lot of uh, different lines on Metropolitan Line. One goes to Watford, one goes to Amersham, one goes to Chesham. One goes to Oxbridge, it's very confusing. Then we have ones that go southbound, that's terminate at Baker Street. And then ones that go all the way to uh, Algate. Okay, we discovered the brakes are not good on this train, so let's just slow down a bit. Very interesting sound this train. I don't think they actually worked on the sound of this AI train at all. There we go. So we're approaching Harrow Hill, changing for Chilton Railways, other Metropolitan Line services, and I guess. Do some shopping Harrow shopping centre, I guess. So we're on this far platform. Which I'm pretty sure is only for um no, I can't I think behind this brick wall is the Chilton uh, railways uh, platforms. Well it might be this one actually. Oh we're going through this one anyway, so yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we are driving a car train, hence the what I they call S8 stock train. Okay, let's put some braking now because brakes are not very good. Ooh, it's lagging quite a bit now. You know, I want to take a nice screenshot, but this is not a very good screenshot. It's literally in the dark. That's not good, is it? Okay, this would be a very good screenshot. Let me do this. Okay, let's check out Harrow on a Hill. A lot of tracks to. Let's see. Yeah, these two are for the Chilton Railways. Obviously, there's no tracks here. So, this one and this one. It's for Chilton Railway. Then we got this one. This one, this one. And this one for the Metropolitan Line. And there's uh, the bus station, Harrow Bus Station. Nice buses. And this is Harrow Shopping Centre, quite big. Very big shopping centre. Been here many times. For like shopping, then this is a very good place to go, I guess. 
video bust. I'm pretty sure that that doesn't exist anymore. And yeah, as you can see, a lot of tracks. And this road goes up and above. And there's a, hit. There's a roundabout here. Not very good roundabout they made, but anyways, it'll do. And you can actually stand here, I believe, and then just look at the trains. Go through the tracks, which is really nice. Like, this view is very nice. Seeing all these tracks reminds me of like Clapham Junction. Anyways, let's get going. Uh, I think next stop is North Harrow, and then, um, mm, should know the next station, but I don't. I think it's Rice Slip, I believe. You can drive this train uh, on the slow line as well, which I'm sure will take you on a different line. So we could do that when we come back. If you guys want to see that, let me know. literally just as soon as I came home from the airport like I literally came on my computer and um, so that's where the Oxbridge line goes if you're wondering towards that side but yeah I came on straight away went on the Just Trains website and bought it <laughs> like, I, I was looking for this route for a very long time and they finally released it unfortunately released it while I was on holiday so that was a bit annoying but anyways There's no passenger view on this AI train as, as I mentioned before. I can't show you that. There is another Metropolitan Line train coming. I believe on the fast line, so. No, I won't take a screenshot. We'll have plenty of time for that, anyways. That's on a slow and it is stopping at that station. And this train 100% stops at North Harrow, but uh, we're on the Chilton uh, Railways line, which runs alongside it. But yeah, normally we should be on that, those tracks, which is fine. Wait, that train has lights. I don't think this train has lights. No. Okay, this train does have lights. I didn't actually think it had lights, but it does. I forgot to turn them on, but that's okay. I didn't think they added it, to be honest with you. I think the map should check, show us what station's next. Okay, next station is... Northwood Hills, yeah. Then I think it's um, Pinner? Northwood. Okay. You know, I'm just gonna speed just to see how fast your train can go. train sounds exactly the same even though we're going over 60 miles. But we've got 10 miles to uh, Amersham. Which is 
it's not too long. Obviously, if we were stopping at East Station, it would take a lot longer. Some stations show on the map, but on the HUD, but some don't, which is a bit weird. Not too sure why. So what I wanted to know is that, obviously, um, I own the Chilton Mainline, but... Does this go all the way to Birmingham? Yes, it does. So basically, the Chilton Mainline and the uh, Aylesbury extension is on the same route, so... What you can do, this route goes all the way to Aylesbury and the branch line between Aylesbury and Prince's Risborough Borough is also included, so here's this small section here. And I believe some scenarios do include that part, so yeah. Stay tuned for that. We're going to be all taking a Metropolitan Line. Normally we shouldn't be able to overtake, but... I was here on the Chilton main lane, part of the tr uh, track, so... because it's probably a track change. So Rick Mansworth is the next, I believe, uh, station where the Chilton uh, Railway stop off Harrow the Hill. Oh, is it Moor Park? Mm, not too sure, actually. Yeah, I think because we're on the Chilton Railway's tracks, it's only showing the stations that this tra train will stop at. Oh, that makes sense. I believe that's where the Watford branch goes. I'm pretty sure. There's on one other branch line that goes to Chasham, but that would be just before uh, get to Amersham, I believe. I believe they are gonna connect uh, Watford Station to uh, Watford Junction, which should be really cool. Then you can also change for the London Northwestern Railway and obviously uh, Virgin Trains. London all ground etc so yeah that would be pretty cool if they did that they didn't mention they're gonna do it but I'm not too sure when they're gonna actually do it okay it's down slow down there we go Switching tracks? No. No real speed, that's okay. Don't think we'll be switching tracks again. I think. Welcome to Rickman's worth. So I believe now that uh, Chilton Railways and the Metropolitan Line train are uh, shares a track. Like the London Overground and Bakery Line trains shares a track between uh, Harrow and Wilsden and um, Queen's Park.
I did something, but I'm not too sure what that was. We're actually struggling to pick up speed because we're going uphill quite a bit. I kind of thought this train would be able to uh, cope with that, but obviously, it's going to do the physics with this train. I'm assuming it's only five miles away. Yeah, let me know in the comments below what you want me to see next on this route. Do you want me to do the return journey from uh, Amersham to um, Finchley Road, stopping at all the stops on the slow line? Or you want me to do, uh, do a scenario with the GWR train, last 165 I believe. Actually I think that's Chilton Railway, isn't it? or 166. There are scenarios with the GWR and with the Chilton Railways. There's also scenarios with a class 1 to 1 network south free, so I might be getting that if it's cheap and do a few scenarios on that. But they used to run on this line a long time ago. And I am a big fan of the network south free delivery, so that would be pretty cool to do. So we've got some uh, Great Western Railway train. Uh, detailing is actually pretty good, like look at this, like, this is really nice. I'm not sure why the bench is covering the sign but anyways, it's pretty nice and detailed, look at this. This is pretty nice actually, very nice. You got the sun uh, salt place, very nice actually. They actually put some effort into this, look at this, this is actually a very nice post, so you can actually read it which is nice to see. And this map you can s sort of read it as well. Essentially we're on the top up here, we're basically up here. Amersham is at that one on the bottom and Chesham is at the one on the top, if you can see that. Going to zone 8 and 9, which is... I don't think you can call that London or within London. I would say it's outside London, but this looks class as London. Finland, I mean, Charlton and Leif, Leitma. So I believe after Chalford and Leitma are uh, the branch line to with Chasham, where is that? that is a terminus, goes to, and then obviously we're going straight towards Amersham. And obviously the route continues towards Aylesbury. And that, that actually route does continue even further, they, they mentioned, but that's only for freight services, so... Pretty much getting a really good route, like, in, if you buy the Chilton Mainline and you get this route, then you're getting quite a lot of content, I would definitely recommend buying it. Now, if you do on the Chilton Mainline, then the Chilton uh, extension is only 16.99. but if you just, just want the London to Aylesbury, Add on, then you can just buy it standalone for twenty four ninety nine. Do I think it's worth sixty ninety nine? Um, yeah, I think so. Obviously, we're gonna be paying more money when the SA stock SA stock trains coming out anyway. So, I could say it's a bit much, but it does come with decent amounts of the Metropolitan Line which I'm a big fan of and hopefully future London Underground Lines they add in the future you know actually I'm ashamed it's coming up now <coughs> do 
we miss the branch line towards Cheshire? We might have done. Unless that, I think that train goes to Cheshire. That must be because it's because these two tracks go towards uh yeah. That's where the Cheshire branch goes. Single piece of track because I don't think many people go to Cheshire. It's good for people who live in Cheshire because at least they have an underground line that they can uh, get. I think trains probably run around every 10 to 50, 15 minutes so. You won't get every 2 minutes like on the Victoria line. That's just crazy. Yeah, coming up to Amersham platform 1. And this is a quick drive scenario if you're wondering, so you just go on quick, quick drive and you can select uh, what you want to do. And I think most more people will like this because they can actually drive the path of the Metropolitan Line opposed to the Chiltern uh, Railways uh, line between to Aylesbury, in my opinion. There's also some scenarios of the class 20 which you can buy from just trains, but I think that's with, with steam trains, so if anyone, anyone is interested in that then you can buy that from just trains. I won't be buying it because I'm not a big fan of steam trains. But I'll be coming up to Amisham. Got a DIY warehouse. Never been to Amisham, so don't ask me if this is accurate. Looks pretty decent to me. take a screenshot because the sign will end so let's do it quickly yeah. uh, okay, I'll do it, I think but yeah this is Cheshire that won't give us much time to look around but But yeah guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, give it a like, share it with your friends, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.